R.E.M. and Losing My Religion on BBC Radio Cumbria. Now, it's not every day that Cumbrian villagers get the chance to be Steven Spielberg, uh, but this might be one opportunity. This film is based in Alston Moor. It will blend old photographs and images alongside reenactments against modern-day backdrops, and the project has just been awarded some money by the Heritage Lottery Fund. Well, Simon Danby is Secretary of Alston Moor Film, and he's here to tell us all about it. Good morning, Simon. Morning, Liz. This is very exciting, isn't it? It's, it's, fr- it's, it's <laughs> exciting and frightening at the same time. Um, th- what we're trying to produce, it's funny, you use the word film, and uh, we prefer to use the word DVD because it'll probably be um, a little patchwork of loads and loads of pieces, and that relates to the way we, s- we see it being made. Right, OK. Well, we'll come on to that in a moment. Just tell me, firstly, then, what Alston Moore Film is. Right, we're just we start off as a very ordinary thing, showing movies in a rural in a rural setting. Which is very popular in communities now, isn't it? Yeah. It's it's moving on, and and licenses now make that possible. Um, but we've got a little extra that we always try to do. We allow a maximum of fifteen minutes at the beginning before any standard movie, where we put in locally made stuff or stuff of local interest. Now that can be the sort of rubbish I make, <laughs> or. Um, the sort of things that you might find on YouTube that young people make. We've got a yeah. lot of bike jumping movies available right. to us. Yeah. Uh, there's quite an assault course and, and a hidden part of Alston. Um, so the, and they like to keep it secret. So there's a few of you who like making little bits of film, that, mm. uh, and then you show the, the big feature, if you like, yeah. is when you're showing your film. So how has that led on to you actually putting together the DVD? Um, we're not talking about DVD yet. We haven't started. Okay. <laughs> well, the project then. Yeah. Um, the project started, it was, it was an idea that bounced off um, a youth worker, a youth worker who comes from outside of Alston. And I think that's, it's often the case that people who come from outside somewhere, like me, I wasn't born in Alston, come in with fresh eyes. And she'd noticed the sort of feeling of togetherness and community spirit, whatever you want to call it, that, that undoubtedly exists in Alston. And, and said, oh, I've always wanted to make a film that's centred on the Market Cross. It seems to be where everything happens, where people grow up and they stand around when they retire. Um, and w- that little idea just moved on and on and on. About, an hour and a, uh, about a year and a half ago, that was. So there we go. That's how it started. Someone's idea, someone else's idea. OK, so you, you obviously then got together as a community and thought, right, we'll put this together. And now you've got some money from the Heritage Lottery Fund. What is, and what will the money do? It'll help you to make it, effectively? It'll help us to do much more than making it. I, I tried to describe the style that we want to use. There's enough money coming in for us to buy equipment, buy video cameras, sound recording equipment, um, a dedicated computer and software, which will stay on Austin Moore. Um, But more importantly, it's not us making it. We've been trying to help other people make their own stories. So members of the youth group, Samuel King's school and so on, are all going to be given the opportunity to pick up the camera and go out there and do their own thing. So uh, everybody's having a go, if they want to. Everybody who wants to, yeah. And how will you put it together then? I mean, will you... Somebody will have to edit all of this material at some point, Yeah, I think it might be Muggins. Yeah, (laughs) right, But we are are bringing in... uh, We haven't nominated anyone yet but we are bringing in a professional filmmaking company who will stay with us through all the little stages of learning we know it's a slow process um so researching script writing storyboarding if it's needed camera sound and light and editing work all will be supported by people fantastic and 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 what will the brief be to anybody who wants to take part then will it be about the community or anything it can just be anything i mean some people's some people's uh some people's stories are imaginary um, other people's stories are only believed by themselves, but it, it's 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 a big feature of oral history. The absolute truth isn't what actually matters. Personal truth can be, you know, two personal truths can be completely at, at odds with one another, but they're both valid. And it's that nice sort of duality um, that I hope we'll pick up on. And what sort of response have you had from the community so far? Well. Until last week, we weren't allowed to tell anyone we were going oh, to go. right. So it's hanging around the co-op saying, if we ever got the money for this project, <laughs> would you like to tell us about sledging down the front street? You know, I mean, in the past, um, when <laughs> there was a lot less traffic, people would put sledges together and make up a train and run the whole of the way from the top of the town right down to the bottom. Really scary. People leaning out the windows, cheering. And if you think that's a bit unusual, they were adults. 
So oh, there we I can go. believe That's it. That's the sort no, of thing. It, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so I see people in clogs. I don't well, think we could reenact that, by the way. Well, I don't know. It depends on what weather you get. I mean, you had enough snow in Alston this year, so you, you never know. You certainly did. How, <laughs> how, uh, how, I made it international papers, in fact. How long do you think it'll take to make? I mean, how... It's an eight-month pro- right. uh, process, okay. and it won't have a sudden splashing start. Um, I'll go around all the various organisations who have already said they wanted to support us um, and, and try to pick up on their ideas. I've got a big file box of cards with separate ideas in case anyone was a bit short of stuff. I mean, not one card says World War Two. I mean, <laughs> come on, that, that, that could fill a DVD. That could be quite interesting, especially if you try and reenact it. <laughs> yeah, we had something strange. We had, I mean, normal, the normal home guard that came from the local volunteer force, but we had a mounted home guard made out of mm. farmers on their horses. Fantastic. Uh, who were greatly praised and, and, and who came to Carlisle to celebrate and parade. We've got those old pictures and wow. we know some of the people involved. They're just still alive, you know. That's going to be an amazing project. I mean, if anything, it sounds like from the response you've had that you you might have too much material. It's going to be quite difficult. It's going to be really hard to, to knocking no, stuff down. Yeah. It really is. Uh, I don't even think of the number of things that we could do. You know, I don't. Yeah. You know. well, it's an exciting thing, though. And, and obviously it's going to involve all sorts of different people and all sorts of different age groups. Oh, we, I would really like to see young people picking up, their, you know, picking up those expensive cameras or that expensive camera. Yeah. Uh, and I wouldn't mind it if old people did the same to one another yeah. as well. Groups can interview one another quite nicely in a friendly way. Uh, and, and it's very different, I think, from film projects or, or television programs that have involved Alston where professional companies have come in and had a look at us yes. um, and portrayed us one way or another and it's always it always really never really gets down to it you know it, it's never really us it's just the ones who are you know brazen and wanted to talk in front of a camera I'd really like some of the quieter shyer people to be able to have their voice heard well it might be these you might get more interesting stories from people if they're talking to peers you know yeah. or, you know or other people from the community that might yeah and young people talking to young people you know it really puts them on the spot it's yeah. no good just moaning you've got to say what you know how you could un- how you could resolve that problem no, and you, boredom's the great one isn't it, 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 it quite uh, you mentioned the card says so is that how you you've got people have made suggestions have you about what they might like to include in the film well, it's constant that it's constant i've been involved in collecting oral history for some years right, now and okay. old photographs so those those stories just flow in now the card systems because my memory's not as good as <laughs> ah, it used to right be. okay so anybody listening, I mean, presumably the community who are eligible to take part in this, if that's the right word, already know about it, do they? Or are you, that's part of getting the not message fully, out today? Not fully, right. no, mm-hmm. that's, why, that's why I need to go to, go to small meetings and we'll, we'll then have a nice show, I think, in, a, in Austin Town Hall where uh, we'll try to project as many little bits of old film that are of interest um, and other things from away um, that might spark people's imagination and give them a bit of confidence. It sounds like it, you might not have a big bash to start with, but it sounds like there'll be a, a heck of a one to end it when you do the showing of the film. That's going to be something, isn't oh, it? I do hope so, I yeah. can see the red carpet being laid out. Oh, um, uh, searchlights in the Limo, sky, or at least quiet? the flashlights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's smoking a cigarette to make it look more effective. I think, yeah. that'd, I think that'd be great. You'd be having there in your dicky bow. It'd be fantastic. Who knows? It's an interesting project, Simon. Thanks for coming in and telling us a bit more about it. You're very and welcome. Good luck with it. When does it start then? When does your eight months start? Um, we'll really be I mean, the next in the next couple of weeks. People will see things bubbling up. Right. Uh, we'll be talking and talking and collecting and trying to identify little groups of people who want to become crews right. who want to take yes. on a small job themselves, and we'll help them the best we can. We've even got help from. Uh, from from two professional cameramen uh, locally and so on, it's really it's really been warm the the response to this so Lovely. far. It, it Keep sound, it that way if we can. It sounds great. And then maybe in about a year's time, maybe a bit longer, you'll be back in hopefully to tell us how it goes. Oh, it'll be shorter than that. For, Eight right. months. Well, yeah, we've got to edit it though and put it all together. That will take some time, won't it? It will. It yeah. will. Okay. Well, good luck with it, Simon. Thanks Thank you very much for telling us more about it this morning. Cheers, Simon Danby, who's secretary of Alston Moore Film, to tell us about the film that the community will be making all together. That sounds great, doesn't it? Charles.